Hi guys, Impact here, and today I'm bringing you episode number 8 of my Road to Prestige and I'm a bit pissed off now. I did 7 minutes out of this for roughly 13 and a half minute video of commentating and then uploads to you. Do you know what? Do you know what I decided to do? I was like, I'm going to be decided to the fucking close. 7 minutes into your commentary just to make you pissed off so you can do it again. Well, fuck you up, those dude. I've had enough of you. Anyway, enough of the rage of uploads to you. Let me mention everything I did in that 7 minutes again. Right, I did start off with saying I didn't actually, like, in episode number 6 I believe, or whatever episode of season 3 of this Road to Prestige, I did mention about the, um, me, I would be saying about the level I started and ended each episode on. I didn't actually mention that last episode because I completely forgot about it until I was recording this, ep um, this episode. So in episode 7, or Monday's episode, a couple of days ago, uh, we started level 18 and ended level 21. In this episode, so episode number 8, we started level 21 and we ended up 24. Now, it was double XP that weekend from when Friday the 8th, sorry, not Wednesday. Friday the 8th to Monday the 11th. Currently Monday the 11th as of this commentary at 3am in the morning. 3am in the morning. Well, that was logic, wasn't it? 3 in the morning, not 3am in the morning. It means the same thing. But anyway, yeah. So, that's the levels. Now let's get into the transfer news, which I'm gonna have to go a little bit of the same pace at, so I don't have any, not anything to talk about for six minutes. But we do go into the top ten or something transfer with hottest Arsenal whispers, hottest Arsenal whispers for Sunday, July 10th, 10th of July. Now, in the last episode, I said I would start to talk slower, and I completely forgot about it until now. I did, I did speak a little bit slower in the last video, and I only ended up talking for the whole video. This time, I started off a bit too fast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit slower so I don't mess up my words like I've been doing a lot in this video already. So these hottest arson awesome whispers for the 10th of July. We'll go from top to bottom. In the first place slot, we do have Alexandre Lacazette from Lyon in France. 4.6 out of 5 rating. So very high potential to come to Arsenal. In second place, we have Julian Draxler of the of, um, Wolfsburg in the bar in. I was about to say in the Bayern Munich then, but no, sorry, in the Bundesliga, German league for that. 4.4 out of 5 rating, let me just turn down the stream I'm watching. Optic Formal, they're playing a uh, tournament, so I don't want to miss it. In third place we have Arda Tour, that one, I'm saying it like it's a tournament as well, and I? In the third slot, not third place, but in the third slot we have Arda Tour and from Barcelona. And I'm pretty sure you all know, know what league they're in, the Liga, or translated to the league. Or in other words, the Spanish League from Barcelona, 4.1 out of 5 rating. Marquinhos from PSG, which is the French League, League 1 or League 1. Top league in, in that league, top league in that in France. I am so bad at commentating at 3am in the morning apparently. And he's got 3.8 out of 10, sorry, 3.8 out of 5 rating. In the fifth slot, we have. I actually think there's more than 10 here. Hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's 11. So in the 5th slot we have Ngulu Kante from Leicester City. English Premier League. In other words, top league in England. Um, he's got a 2.1 rating out of 5. And for the next 4 players we have the same rating, so we'll go from now. We've got Gonzalo Higu Higuain of Napoli, Romelu Lukaku of Everton, James Rodriguez from Real Madrid and also from Real Madrid, Alvaro Malaga. They've all got a rating of 1.7 out of 5 to end up at Arsenal. And the last few slots we have Musa Sissoko of Newcastle, relegated Premier League side, now in the Championship with Rafa Benitez as a manager. We've got a 1.1 out of 5 rating, so very unlikely to end up at Arsenal. And following him, even worse or even less of a chance to end up at Arsenal is another Leicester City player, Ben Chewell. Now the only player I see there that we should sign and we need is a striker and Alexandre Lacazette. Obviously you could say, oh well, uh, Gonzalo Higuain, Lukaku and Morata are all strikers, are all forward players. Yeah, but Lacazette mate. Lacazette. And I don't need to even explain why I want Lacazette at a club, I've done it too many times so go check out the videos, I've all mentioned him in. If you don't know what they are, one's called Lacazette and there's probably plenty of other videos. So yeah, Lacazette is the only one I think we should sign. 
Luckily, he's had a swap than this. And I don't have a clue why this person with the, uh, the scythe was continually, continually looking there, even though he saw me jump up top. Unless he's blind. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty sure um, in that list of 11 players, there's one, two, three, four uh, strikers. Three or four, or. Uh, sorry, no, three central attacking midfielders or just central midfielders as a whole. One defender, Ben Chigo, I don't have a clue what he is. Um, Musu, Musu, Musa Sissoko and um, Arda Turan are both wingers, I believe, or at least Arda Turan is. Musa Sissoko was a winger for France, at least, for that Portugal game a couple of hours ago. By a couple of hours ago, I mean about seven hours ago. But yeah, so that is the latest rumours for the 10th of July. We do move on for top 10 whispers in the set or at quarter past. Actually, I'm not going to mention them because I've pretty much mentioned them anyway. It's the same two players keep popping up, like I said, uh, Julian Draxler. So I won't mention that. But at 20 past 5 p.m. on um, the 10th, Middlesbrough are in advanced talk with form, uh, formal. What, no, they're in uh, they're advanced talk with a Call of Duty professional in America, apparently. Yep, logic. Um, Middlesbrough are in advanced talk with Valencia striker Alvaro Nogreda and if I'm not mistaken he was a former Manchester City forward as well which constantly got injured. Um, Balassi from Crystal Palace is to have put of a 28 million price tag according to the mail to the mail. H-O-J-B-J-E-R-G set for Saints by Munich I don't know how he says his name it's Perry Emil I'm just going to say it's Hodgeberg. Hodgson's a long lost brother from wherever I'm just going to go to Germany just because he's in the German league and I know it's not how it works but it's by Munich. The team's pretty much German. <laughs> uh, yesterday, not sorry, not yesterday, last episode or on Monday at 12 you'll realise I started talking about Arsene Wenger wouldn't rule out England. Now this is exactly what he said. Could I manage England? Why not? I'll never rule that out but I am happy and focused in club football. He said in an interview with a bet and be in sport. England is my second country. I have one more year to go with Arsenal and I have I've been with them with it for a long time. I've always affected all my contracts throughout my career and will continue to do that. What I will do after that, honestly, I don't know. So that is his interview he had, or, or part of it at least. So yeah. Would I like to see him manage England? I've gone through this couple of times before. I would not know. I wouldn't mind it, just because we play entertaining football. I'm not going to go into it because I've mentioned it before. But before we do go into any more Sky Sports news, let me quickly mention. This game, by the way, is absolutely phenomenal. This is the game I mentioned in episode 6 that you do not want to miss. The first game I actually got shit on. I went 36 to 26 and we lost. 26 deaths, that's where we lost, I think. If I didn't get so many deaths, I could have got more kills. Hopefully, well, I would have because I wouldn't have died, so I would have killed the person I was looking at instead of dying, but yeah. It was also due to my team, I got like 1 in 17, I think it was. But this game is absolutely lovely. If you're wondering why I stopped there, by the way, it's because no one connected into the game. Me and my mate Beastly Quest also for, uh, will be uploading to that Impact Gaming channel, which I haven't mentioned in a while. Link in the description to that. I haven't actually uploaded there for a while either, but there will be videos up there shortly. I'm just focused on this channel for now because I am going away to the NCS program soon, so I need constant videos to be uploaded. But anyway, we do go into this game. We was playing a six man, which if you don't know what a six man actually means, it's a lobby with uh, six people in one party, so they're always on, gonna be on the same team. They all had a hundred K on their clan tag, you'll see that's why I've put up my scoreboard plenty of times at the beginning. Five of them was prestige masters, one of them was prestige eight I think. I think the lowest prestige master was level eighty. And my teammates all basically quest was like, Oh really? Well we're gonna lose this game and I said to him, No, we ain't losing mate, I'm dropping fifty. If you don't know what that saying means, it means I'm going to drop 50 kills. It's normally used by professionals just to hype themselves up, hype themselves up before a game. It works on anyone really. If you say you're going to do something, you actually want to aim for it. And uh, let's just say I did drop 50 and I did it in a, quite a style. And you'll see what I mean at the end. Currently 16 or 17 and 1 I think that said. But this game does end in style. Still don't know what I'm going to call this video. Probably... Hitting, hitting 50 in style, maybe, maybe, probably, I'll probably not do that. Any more transfer news, quickly. We are coming to the end, I've already mentioned all of this shit. No Arsenal big flag, I mentioned that in uh, Monday's video, so no, there isn't any more transfer news. I'm going to close this and hope that upload you that doesn't fuck me over again. 
So I've mentioned this on, um, I don't know if I mentioned this on an Impact Gaming video or this video, by the way, nice quad feed right there, doesn't count as a quad feed, but it is a quad feed, if you know what that means either, so I've said that a lot this video, pretty much it is a quad feed to me, but the medal itself says, and for un I think it, was, it said something like, and for uninterrupted kills on the kill feed, and uh, in brackets it says no score streaks, I'm not including score streaks, so, um, I'm not, anyway, back to what I was gonna say. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in an Impact Gaming video or a video on this channel about GBs, which don't like our leg game battles, or um, it's like a professional setting, that's what I'd be doing anyway. I may or may not upload that to the Impact Gaming channel. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already sub subbed to that channel, please go into the description, click the link, and then subscribe to that channel. That is your, that is your way to find out, or not find out, that is your way to uh, get more gaming videos. Obviously, it won't be one a day on that just yet until um, I am overpowered. By what by what I mean by that is I'm not going to be able to upload 15 videos a week on this channel and 7 a week on that video, uh, channel. We are currently destroying the other team. By the looks of things, it's 71 to 20 or 28. I can't actually read that. There you go. It's the score will come out. It's 28. So that's nice. Absolutely demolishing them. So that's fun. Oh no, Optica about to lose on the second or on third map. 2 1 up in the series, so not that much to you lot because this video goes up on the 20th and so 9 day. Well, this, is te this is technically the 10th for them. It's three or 10 past 3 in the morning for me, but Chicago, 6 hours behind. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 6 hours behind anyway. May or may not be right or wrong. But I can't bother to check because I don't need to. Yeah, like I said already in this video, go check out the Impact Gaming video, uh, channel in the description. Also, check out Beastly Quest's channel down below as well. He's um, not really new to YouTube anymore, but he did recently start. He's only got 27, I believe, subs. So, he does Rocket League videos, he does Borderlands 2 playthrough, because Borderlands 1 doesn't actually let you record on the Xbox One, just because it's an old game, probably. It's not because it's an Xbox 360 game, I mentioned this before, it's just, I don't have a clue why. Because Left 4 Dead 2 allows me to record that. So anyway, that's probably going to do it for the commentary. Hopefully me uh, me talking slower does actually extend the commentary by the looks of it does and makes it a bit more watchable or viewable just because it's not going to be a gameplay on its own. I know if I'm watching a, a video, it has to have commentary on it. I can't just watch a video with no commentary on it. If I'm going to do that, I'd rather watch like The Flash or something, like a TV show, which has still got commentary to it. You can't watch something with no commentary, it's just that boring. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment and subscribe, leave your suggestions down, down below. And just before I do exit this, I did mention a few whenever I goes that I will do a bonus video on uh, getting your shot better and stuff. I don't know when that's going to come out, I haven't yet recorded it, but stay tuned for that. I'm sure I'll, men I'll mention it in a video, not a road of prestige, because I'm recording them all now. Anyway, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, and see you later, have a nice day.